Hi guys, this is me, the math person. Today I'll be going over question 263 on SO exam P. So, as always, pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume that you attempted it. Let's just dive right in. A group of 100 patients is tested, one patient at a time, for three risk factors for a certain disease until all inter until either all patients have been tested or a patient tests positive for more than one of these risk factors. Okay, so they stopped the trial when uh, um, patients uh, test at least positive for um, two of the three factors, right? Because more than one is two of the three factors, two out of, two out of the three risk, or if they test positive for all three of risk factors. Okay, um, for each risk factor, the patient tests positive with a probability P, um, the outcome for the test across all patients and all risk factors are mutually independent. Okay, determine the expression for the probability that exactly n patients are tested, where n is a positive integer less than 100. Alrighty, alrighty. That's kind of a mouthful, but let's just take it one by one. So what would it be for a when n is equal to 1? This means where n is um, exactly 1, so this is exactly um, 1 patient is tested. So what's the probability that exactly 1 patient is tested? Well, that means, um, again, they go until all patients have been tested or a patient tests positive for either two of the three risks or two of the three risks or three of the three risks. So what's the probability that they have exactly two out of the three risks? Well, that's equal to exactly two, right? So exactly two risks. But then the last one is not a risk, which is just Q. Plus, what's the um, probability that they get all three risks? I mean, all three of the risk factors? Okay, well, that's just P times p times p, right? Because they're independent. So we could actually just say this is equal to p squared. We know q is just, I mean, q is just 1 minus p plus um, p cubed. But then there is actually three ways that we this can happen, right? The ppq. Because the ppq can happen in this order. You know, they could be um, positive for the first two and then not positive for the third one. Or they could be this way. Or it could also be this way. But there's no other choices other than these three choice combinations. So this actually is equal to 3 times p squared times 1 minus p. Okay. And then we're looking for, so this was when um, n was equal to 1. Okay, so let's try it for when n is equal to 2. Right? So when n is equal to 2, this is actually, what's the probability that the first the first patient was not did not have any of this. Well, that's just equal to one minus this whole stuff, right? What's the probability that they did not have any of it? And the second patient um, had exactly two of the three risks, or exactly three of the three risks. Okay, actually, I'm gonna you know circle this sucker up in pink. Oh, yep. Here we go. Here we go. Make it super fancy. So then this right here will be one minus the 3p squared, 1 minus p, plus, or the negative signs distribute, minus p cubed, right? Then the second person that gets text tested has the two of the three risks or the three of the three risks. So that's 3p squared, 1 minus p, plus p cubed. Okie dokie, lemon chogi. So let's just try it for the third one. You know, I hope you guys start to see the pa pattern. For the third one, the first two has to be none of the risk factors or one of the risk factors. So that's just, again, 1 minus the complement. So it's just a complement, which is 1 minus 3p squared, 1 minus p, minus p cubed. But then this time, this is going to be to the second power. So the first three patients can't, can't test, can't fulfill the red. So that's 1 minus. And then the third patient is exactly the one that gets 3p squared, 1 minus p, plus p cubed. Makes sense. Okay, so then we can kind of see it. We, this goes on forever. And then eventually it's going to be n equals n. What is it for some arbitrary n? Well, this is equal to 1 minus 3p squared, 1 minus p, minus p cubed, to the, as you notice, if it was three trials, this is to the second power, right? So this is equal to n minus 1 power times 3p squared, 1 minus p, plus p cubed. Okay, so this is exactly equal to our answer B. 
If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!